No, 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 no. Listen to me. Look, sir, I, I don't even know who you are. Bob Mahala Shaka? Mahala Shaka. I'm making a YouTube video, okay? And you're kind of messing it up. I, I won the lottery. What? I don't even play the lottery. That's so crazy. I'm going to lose my beard. Oh. Hello everybody on YouTube. I'm super excited to do a video covering the Christian Speed Game Contest. Have you guys are like, what in the world is that? It is a contest hosted by a guy named Chris on streams. On streams? You like type of walking or something? This is a contest where these different game developers are given a Bible verse and in a certain number of days they have to develop a small low-key game based on that Bible verse. This year we have six games that were made so we're gonna talk about these and arrange them in order of starting from the ones that need just a little bit of work to the ones at the very best so let's check them out let's get started all right number six widget world okay so from the get-go this game really 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 confused me I didn't know what was going on it took me like probably 15 or 20 minutes to figure out what I was supposed to be doing in this game so this is a puzzle game you have these two with two targets with two pieces going from one path to another. You have these weird objects called widgets that you have to place on the target. You have to put them on the correct settings to match a hidden widget on the other side of your object. If you match it with the hidden widget, then the hidden widget is revealed and you pass and you get to go to the next level. That's a horrible description because I'm still perplexed and confused by this game. Some of the levels will have multiple widgets in a row, so you have to get one correct and then you get the second one and then you get the third one. It's a really interesting concept. I feel like maybe if they rush it up, it could be a little bit better. This is based on Joel 2-7. I think all the games are. And they each merge in line, nor do they deviate from their past. So it's a Christian game because flies are flying straight on a path without deviating. That's a great Christian message. I would say this is more consistent with the Bible verse, but I wouldn't call it a Christian game. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this screenshot and Photoshop. Do this right here. Now, those flies can't fly in a straight line, so it's not a Christian game anymore, right? Huh. There are ways of doing things. Number five is AI. AI is another game that really had me perplexed, and I was wondering what in the world is going on. So I started playing the game. It started off with all these cool clips of robots, and then it started throwing all these doomsday Bible verses, and I'm like, what is this person trying to say? Robots are evil and going to bring the end of the world? I was kind of confused. And then it randomly threw up on the screen a Boston Dynamics robot, and I was like, <laughs> uh, uh, copyright strike. How the game works is it's kind of like a strategy army management game. So you have this overhead view, looking over like some type of city that's filled with these people. The people are just red specks. But your job is to deploy these robots and send them into the city and manage them so that you can kill as many people as you can. I don't know how killing people with robots is a Christian game. Maybe they're like evil people and it's like in the middle of war, the game has like no setting. It's just, you're sending out robots and killing people. <laughs> sure, I can do that. You have to manage the robots and tell them whether they need to be killing the people with guns or breaking down buildings that people are hiding in or just killing everybody at random. So you're managing them, trying to cause as much destruction as you can. Yeah, mm, that's a interesting setting for a Christian game. I just want to know why I'm having my robots invade Israeli towns. Uh, I, I also want to know what did you guys do to this robot to make him spasm like this? You alright, pal? Number four, the Apostle. So I actually kind of like this game, looking at some of the screenshots and stuff. I feel like it didn't have enough time to be fully developed. It could be a better game, but it's kind of lacking in some parts. So this is a low-key pixel art platformer game where you're basically jumping across these platforms and picking up crosses. That's about it. And once you go through the map and pick up all the crosses, you take a short word search and have to find words relating to a Bible chapter. Yeah, so it's kind of a low-key game. I do kind of like the art style, but it's kind of hit or miss. You're randomly chased around the map by these random things. I don't, what do you call that? Again, looks like it could have been better. I just feel like it needed more time to be fully developed. All right, Noah, throw your purple fire animal in the ark. <laughs> Number three, shine on. So shine on is a word puzzle game where you are this ball of light inside of this map and all of a sudden, all of these clouds will 
words start coming around you. They're trying to dim your light, but you have to say, <laughs> You can't put out my light. So you have to type the letters to form the words that are in the clouds and direct the letters to the cloud to dim the cloud. You have to be very careful to get as many clouds as you can and don't let them put out your light. It's kind of a simple game. It was hard for me to play. I don't know if I was playing it wrong. I didn't really look at the controls, but it's hard for me because I was having to type with both hands and then I have to jerk over here and grab my mouse to quickly guide the letters to the clouds. <laughs> on the name Resident Evil. So, this is kind of like a low-key horror game. It's got a nice dark setting. I like the lighting inside of the game. It's pretty cool. You are stuck inside of these different levels and you have two exits, but you have to read a Bible verse and figure out what the right exit out of the level is. And if you don't get the right exit, this squirrel pops up on your screen. I mean, what is this? I don't... <laughs> Of all the things you could have cho you could have chosen a zombie, a, a skeleton. I mean, I know this is a Christian horror game. I don't like zombies and skeletons, but a squirrel? Oh no, you touched something evil. That can be taken a lot of ways. I'm gonna walk up to someone at Walmart who's shopping. I'm just gonna say, "Oh no, you touched something evil," and then I'm gonna walk away. So I did kind of like this game. I'll go and give you a spoiler. There's nothing that jumps out and scares you, so it's not really scary for a horror game. But I actually kind of did like it, and it's the only game in the list made with Unreal. I love Unreal Engine. Unreal is epic, and I don't mean that as a pun. Honestly, the scariest part of the game is these random locusts. I'm like, how are locusts the object of a horror game? But I did like the game. It was pretty awesome. Trust only in the force. So number one, we have Super Christian. Okay, why is Super Christian at number one? From the get-go, looking at it, it looked like the type of game I would love to roast. It looks cheesy, it looks over preachy, it looks like the type of video game that I hate. So I started playing it, but as I started playing it, I was like, yo, this actually ain't bad. And now it's at the number one spot. So basically, what you're doing inside of this game is you're running around this city Beating up Satan's bad boys, collecting Bibles, the game has to specify their KJV Bibles, not the NIV Bible, not the the Living Bible. I had a coworker recently tell me there was a HIV translation of the Bible. I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> HIV Bible. That's basically it. Picking up Bibles and beating Satan's bad boys. These random guys with red faces. I wanted to see how many would chase me at one time. I had like a whole horde chasing after me. I guess it's a Christian game because they're walking in a straight line as the, the Bible verse said. But the only reason this is at number one. I love this game because of this one reason. You're basically like Spider-Man. You can literally climb the skyscrapers all the way to the top and then jump from one building to another. I'm telling you, it is wicked awesome. You might die in the process, but look, it's wicked awesome. It's That's the reason why I love this game. You're just tearing across rooftops, jumping, and then grabbing the side of another building. It's so cool. Even for a cartoony game like this, it just feels awesome. And it's a really fast-paced game. You're just tearing all over the place. I love this game because there's enough detail. I was able to mess around with it a little bit. Like, I jumped into the water. Let me say the swimming mechanic in this game are kind of weird. I mean, look, who can do this in the water? If you could do this, my, my parents will buy you a Lamborghini. I don't even live with my parents anymore, so they probably won't. But who can, okay, whatever. So I decided, so you know, how far does this water go? So I started swimming out, swimming further, swimming. I just kept swimming, swimming, swimming. You know, the city looks kind of cool from a distance. And then I was like, are we ever going to reach the end? I finally reached into the water and then I started falling and nothing happened. So, you know, there's enough detail in this game. You're able to mess around with it just a little bit. So anyway, it's a pretty cool game. It puts the message in the gameplay. I didn't really like that because you're picking up Bible verses. It's kind of cheesy. But look, it's actually a pretty fun game. Beating up Satan's bad boys and everything. Hey, how you doing? Uh, do you do this often? You may wow, you have some kind of a gift, a talent. 
Not most people can shove their face through solid objects. So guys, thank you for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to hear based on what you see from the footage that I put on this video, what you think was the best game out of this list. So hit me up. Tell me what you think. If you made any of these games, tell me in the comments. I'll be glad to chat with you, talk with you, all that stuff. So you guys have a fantastic day. Subscribe or I will eat all of your pretzels.